Hello everyone, I'm Keb, welcome to this let's play of Nuclear War. Now this game is new, it was first released for the Amiga back in 1989. It was published by US Gold and developed by New World Computing. If you've heard of them, it's probably because of their better known franchise of Heroes and Might and Magic. Now, neither of these companies exist today, so I assume this game has become abandonware. I've not been able to find it for sale anywhere anyway, but I have been able to find it available at the Internet Archives. If you're not aware of it, the Internet Archives have made available thousands of these old abandoned games. Uh, and they, they made it available to be played in, in your browser. So they're very accessible. They might not all, they all run, but they might not all, all function properly. That you have to find out for yourself. But anyways, I'll put a link both to the Internet Archives and to this game in particular in the video description. Now, this game in particular, Nuclear War. It's a very simple strategy game. It's satire, it's end of the world, and last man standing, essentially. Now, with all that out of the way, let's just skip the chess, go straight to nuclear war. So, let's see here. We have a few actions to do uh, each turn. You can build more nuclear toys, or we could blast people with propaganda, try to make them join us. We can ready missiles, we can ready bombers, and if we did that the last turn, we can load up with uh, nuclear warheads and fire them. Or we can deploy a defensive system, in case one of our rivals has decided to nuke us. Now, we'll start by building some nuclear toys, I think. So let's see what our rivals do. Gandhi uses propaganda. He's very fond of doing that. Mao does the same. And they both target PM Satcher. She also pro used propaganda. So does Gaddafi. A very friendly one on this one. And I build nuclear toys. Now, you might see that there are some kinds of diplomacy here. These numbers indicate just how much these characters like us. So Gaddafi likes us quite a bit at the moment, or, it's, or at least he pretends he does. Not, we don't know for sure. And we can use these icons to set our own opinion of him in return. Now, I've never been able to do this effectively, so I'm probably going to lose this. In the center here we have our country and our cities and the populations of each of them. The more people you have, the more toys you can build. And we failed to build just about anything. So I think we're going to ready a nuclear missile. Though that will probably anger everyone. No, 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 change the plan. We'll propagandas. we use pro propaganda and see if we can get their people to join us. Okay, so Gadda Gaddafi just fired cattle. <laughs> at Gaddafi, and so quite successfully. That's a random event, I think. And Mao used propaganda again, but it backfired, so defectors leave. She already is a bomber, she'll probably attack someone, so does Gaddafi. And rather than what we plan to do, we get a baby boom. 10 million extra people. Very useful. Now, I, I have to apologize about the audio of this game. This was before the era of sound cards. So, <laughs> it is basically PC speaker on beeps. That's why I turned the audio quite a bit down, because it's rather annoying <laughs> to listen to. Hopefully it's below the uh, threshold of your pain. <laughs> okay, we'll fire up a defensive measure, I think. Just in case either of these guys want to nuke us. And we'll see how that works. Gandhi does the same. Maura is a missile. She fires at Gandhi. And it burned down. He also fires at Gandhi, and of course that also should be, gets shot down. So let's see here. We could probably look at Gandhi and see... Who do you like? Oh, we... Well, he definitely doesn't like PM Satcher, and that's good news for us. Because if either any of these guys hate us, then we're in big trouble. That's basically how the game goes. He should probably fire at PM Satcher rather than us. And he's the only one that has something to fire at this round. So we'll build more toys. 
Can the propaganda Gaddafi? More far that beams at her as just as we thought he would. And it destroys the entire city. Pim Satcher fires a missile, Gaddafi scrambles a bomber. Can we just add more toys? No, I don't think Gad Gaddafi will attack us. He pretends to like us anyway. Pim Satcher probably hates Gandhi more. Oh, he, she hates Maudapan, Ma okay. So, what should we do? What should we do? I think it's time to be a bit aggressive. Let's fire up a missile and see what happens. They both defend themselves. And of course, they do so successfully. So now we have a missile. Who should we try to kill? It has a capacity of 50 megatons, so we could use any of these lower grade bombs, but probably wiser to use the highest load available. I think we're going to attack PM Satcher first. And off the missile goes. Gandhi goes off to Gaddafi. Mao and his missile. She builds more stuff. And he nukes Gaddafi and nukes Gandhi. And our missile kills 13 million. She didn't like that. You can probably tell from her expression. Gaddafi lo loved that, by, by the way. Gandhi didn't like it either, but I don't think he's gonna obje object just yet. And since we lack any kind of delivery system, that's also kind of an annoying. We have no delivery systems, other than a 10 megaton nuclear missile, which is nothing. And some defenses. Okay, we'll try to build more stuff. You should, nev you should never build twice in a row, because that's stockpiling, and they hate you, hate you for that. And Gandhi got visited by aliens. Okay, 33 million new people. Mao kills PM Satcher's town. She scrambles a bomber and ready to attack. Gaddafi builds more stuff, and so do we. Okay, we got one new bomber and one new missile. That's almost nothing. And no defensive systems. And she's probably going to attack us now. No, actually, she might not. This is good news. Our problem is Gandhi, because he's going to be a runaway. So, we might have to do something with Gandhi. Let's see if we can get some of the aliens he got to join us. Oh, she nuked the city we wanted to propagandize. And we got six million people out of the nuclear waste. Okay. And Gandhi did not like that. Not one bit. The problem with Gandhi is he loves propaganda, and he will, well, he'll basically blast you to bits if you if you're not careful, and he'll make all your population go away. That's not good. So we'll try to see if we can make him lose more cities. Gaddafi and Satcher both hate him, so it might work. We got 9 million people out of it. Now I should probably stay away from Gandhi for a while, just in case we can get him to like us again. I think it's time to do something else. Let's build more stuff. They're really nuking the heck out of Gandhi right now. He might not survive for that long. So now we have a problem. We need the others to go away. Let's see. Yeah, let's ready a bomber and see if we can do something. Gandhi got our people to leave. Just three million though. Yep. 
Yeah, I think we'll have to deal with Gandhi first. Oh, we already... Let's see, we... Yeah, we need to nuke him first, I think. Load up our bomber with the biggest missile we can, biggest payload we can. Let's see how that works. Both of these guys, both, uh, both PM Satcher and Gaddafi will nuke, nuke Gandhi along with us. So hopefully we can remove him first. But I want to do, see if we can lure some of his people over. You might, you never know. Gandhi's propaganda backfired, which is good. We got one million people out of it. We actually have pretty good cities at this point. Much better than I feared. We'll build more stuff. I'm trying to get some kind of defensive system because I'm definitely going to need that. When Gandhi is gone, these guys will probably attack us. Gandhi does not have much left at all. It's already a small missile. Okay, let's see. So we have a small missile, we can load it up with a small nuclear bomb. And hopefully we'll kill him. Let's see. Gandhi got aliens again! That's just unfair. He, he, can, he can't kill them. Okay, he got a lot more people than we killed, though. That's unfortunate. Gaddafi loves us at the moment, which is good. Let's try to see if we can do a smiley face back on him. We'll do the same with Maudapan. And let's see, we will make more stuff. I want to have a defensive system, if I can. I really have bad luck with the defensive systems, okay. So let's see, what should we do now? Let's try a mid-range missile. And Gandhi keeps using propaganda. It's really annoying. So we have to try to kill him. As soon as at all possible, otherwise he'll just keep stealing our people. See what I mean? And now the other guys have stopped bombing him. I guess we really have to just try to kill him right outright. So we're going for the big missile. Before he steals all, all our people. And now we're going to fire the big missile straight at there. 100 megatons. Coming straight for Gandhi. And he keeps stealing our people. PM Satcher is doing pretty poorly at this point. She doesn't have many cities left. He's down to one city. We try, we'll try to finish him now. Another missile. Target this last city and see if we can kill him with it. Okay, such a bomber. 
Damn it. Almost. Let's see if we can do that again. They keep stealing our people. We lost the city now. God obviously hates us. That's not good. But I really need to finish. Finish off Gandhi first. Then we'll do everything we can to kill Gaddafi. Because he's now the strongest one. And that's rather unfortunate. Okay, let's build more stuff. This is starting to become quite annoying. And Gandhi gained 20 million people. Again. I swear, Gandhi can't lose. It's just annoying. Gandhi... Oh my goodness, now we're being attacked by... Okay... So now we have a problem. Do we want to try to kill Gandhi, or do we try to kill the much bigger target? We just have to stick with the plan. We have to try to eliminate Gandhi first. PM Sachi just lost. So she'll be firing off all her remaining nuclear missiles in a moment. Which were none. Okay. And I really have to finish off Gandhi while I still can. So, we're already a bomber. Hopefully Mao and Gaddafi will nuke each other. Meanwhile, we're sending off a bomber. We gained 3 million people back, okay. Finally, we destroyed Gandhi. And he didn't have a stockpile either. And both of these guys seem to love us. Which is, of course, a blasted lie. But still. So, who do we destroy next? I wonder. We should probably ready a bomber. And I think we'll load it up with the biggest possible payload and attack. Gaddafi! He lost one city. Okay. Let's see. Gaddafi still hates Mao the Pan more than he hates us. So he should attack Mao. That's my hope, anyway. So let's fire up another missile. Yep, he fired at... Wow. Oh. So, we ready up another nuclear payload. 20 megatons. Target the same city. Off it goes. Hopefully we will be able to reduce Gaddafi before Mo the Pun gets expired and gets killed off. Because if these two guys fire at each other, we might actually win this. Another missile ready. 36 million! That's quite powerful.
And his propaganda backfired, that's good. But our missile failed. Another missile. Now, does Gaddafi still hate Mao? Yeah, he still hates Mao for more than he hates us. Which is good. We'll target the same city, another payload, and off it goes. Mao is down to one city. Okay, now he might fire at us instead. Because now he hates us equally much. We have a lot of these 20 megaton missiles. Already oh, another one of those. I have to say, I, I rarely play this game this successfully. Usually, I end. Usually, it ends very, very badly because I, the gener the AI is generally pile up on me. So things are going pretty well this time. We might actually sort of be the winner. Okay, let's fire off our missile. And he uses cattle at us. Oh dear. Cattle tech claims 20 million lives. So, yeah. Lobbing cows is clearly more deadly than nuclear bombs. I think it's time to fire up our bomber. Now both of them have just one city left and we have four. That's pretty good. He's still the stronger party, but will he fire at Mao or at us? Now we'll take our chances. Uh, we lost 5 million for that mistake. But he killed 17. This is going rather well. I think it's time to build more toys because we're running out of missiles. And... yeah. And that's all, of it, all. That's all there is for Mao. He's lost all there is for Gaddafi. His last people left him, and he now launches his stockpile. Only two missiles. Okay. So now just us and Mao left, and he loves us apparently. That won't stop him from bombing us, of course, but still. So we'll load up our biggest bomber. He will kill us, though. He will attack us. But I'd rather not deploy a defensive system now, because if I do, I lose my bomber. So we'll launch our 100 megaton bomb at him and see if we can actually get through this. We lost 4 million people. And so did he. He didn't like that. <laughs> not at all. We're running out of bombs as well. This is prob this that's actually quite problematic. Okay, let's do one of the cheap missiles. And he just built more toys, so he won't be able to attack us this turn. I'll be able to attack his last city. Maybe, maybe he will succeed here. Propaganda, and he gained four million more people. We destroyed him! Yay! That's his last strike. That's all he has left though, so it, he might actually kill us off. No! Hooray! Okay, I guess we won this time. Which is glorious. So, we'll enter our hard score. Rating, and that's it. Okay, well I think we'll try another game of this. Because usually I don't win. We'll try something else next time. See you in the next episode.